Studio 3 runs on Windows 64-bit Windows 7. Here's how you do it. To check if your system is 64-bit Windows 7, go to the Start menu, click it, then go to Control Panels, click it, and then this window appears. Then go into System, and there it tells you. Okay. On this machine, this list came up, and in it we see System, and clicking that brings us to a window that tells us what our operating system is here. Down here, it shows us that it is the 64-bit operating system. So now we know that we need to do the following thing when installing. Go to World Wide Web, Goravani.com, our website, and there is a download button at the top here. which if you click brings you to this window downloads here you pick the right one All right. here on the right side of the screen are the choices for windows and we go ahead and click the one for Windows Vista. That then starts the download process which shows in the lower left corner on this system. When it's done it looks like this. Then we click on it. The window appears listing the installer application and then we go ahead and run that. And the circle is circling, telling us that the computer is whirling. And this window appears, which you might get this message. The publisher could not be verified. Would you like to proceed? You can click yes. Go ahead, run. And then again, it says the same thing. Do you want to do this? Yes, I do. Do you want English? Well, you can, yeah, just click OK, because that's only for the installer. And then it comes to the wizard for setting it up, and you click Next. And clicking Next. And it begins the process of installing the files, which are all put in one folder except for it installs some fonts but all of these the entire program is contained in one folder which is put into installed the program in local disk C and if we open that it went into program files it installs it into program files x86 and here we see that Joti Studio and we need to move that or it won't run correctly to somewhere else such as root of C or my documents. Okay, now you're going to uh, drag and drop the program from the programs file. So the first thing you do is you go to the start button and then to computer. Click computer and a window opens. Go look for local disk C, which is your C drive, and click on that. Then you find programs files x86 which is where the program has been installed. Scroll down until you see it. There it is, Joti Studio. Now, go back and you're going to open a second window. Go to Start, then to Computer. Click Computer. Move your second window over so they're side by side. Now you're going to double click on local disk C, 
So now in this left window, you see the items which are directly on the C drive. That's where you're going to be putting the program. So go to the window on the right, which is inside the program's file. Click onto Joti Studio and drag the whole folder over and drop it into the white space on the left. It will ask you if you have the permission to do so. Click yes. And there you go. Now the program is directly on your C drive. So now you're looking at Joti Studio, which is on the C drive. Double click on the folder and you scroll down about halfway till you see the blue ball that says Omnis. Scroll down to the blue ball that says Omnis.exe, right click, and a menu box opens. You'll go up to where it says Create Shortcut and click. Now you see that you have a second blue ball that says Omnis.exe shortcut. You click where it says Omnis.exe shortcut once and then you drag it to your desktop and let go. There's your desktop icon. Double click and the program opens. This window opens and you can either run it in demo mode or activate.